Can taking this one supplement actually prevent you from having a miscarriage? Well, if you've had recurrent miscarriages or you've had some bleeding in early pregnancy, you might have heard of progesterone supplements they actually help. We know that progesterone is essential in early pregnancy. It maintains the lining of the womb and supports the embryo implanting. But can taking extra progesterone reduce the risk of miscarriage? Well, there is some research, including the PRISM trial, which suggests that if women have early pregnancy bleeding and they've previously had a miscarriage, they may have a slightly higher chance of a successful pregnancy outcome if they get progesterone treatment. Therefore, our new NICE guidelines actually do recommend that you could be offered progesterone if these three conditions are satisfied, if you have an intrauterine pregnancy, so we've done a scan and seen a pregnancy with a heartbeat within the womb, if you've had some bleeding in the pregnancy, and if you've unfortunately had a previous miscarriage. So if you satisfy all three of those conditions, they might offer you progesterone supplements. So how do you take them? Well, they're vaginal tablets that are used twice a day, 400 micrograms dose. So the pessaries are inserted into the vagina from the time any bleeding in pregnancy occurs up until 16 weeks of pregnancy. Now the thing to be aware of is giving extra progesterone isn't going to solve all types of miscarriages. Sometimes a miscarriage might occur because of abnormalities in the chromosome, so in the genetic material of that pregnancy. Giving extra progesterone in that case won't change the outcome and unfortunately that miscarriage would still occur. So it's not going to benefit everybody. We also don't have a good evidence that it makes any difference if someone hasn't previously had a miscarriage. So if it's the first time pregnancy and there is some bleeding, the studies don't suggest that there'll be any benefit in using progesterone in that. Also, some studies suggest that because the placenta it takes over progesterone production by 12 weeks, giving it until 16 weeks may not really be beneficial. We just don't know everything. But generally, progesterone is considered quite safe. There are some concerns we have. We don't really understand the long-term effects of giving progesterone in early pregnancy, but our current data doesn't suggest that there is any problems with giving it. So if you've had a miscarriage and you experience bleeding in your next pregnancy, talk to your doctor about progesterone. It could potentially increase your chance of a successful pregnancy, but it's not a miracle cure. It's not going to work for every cause of miscarriage. So did you use progesterone when you had bleeding in pregnancy? Let me know your experience below.